Oh, Grish already joined. Hey, Grish. Is it he's here? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think it's actually, I'm going to share the screen and pretty much uh, what we discussed the last time with Grish, just make the go in a go. Um, okay, so, so yeah, I've been, I've been here. I mean, yeah. I've been hearing to the conversation. I'm yeah, sorry, I'm sure. just, uh, just uh, doing a little bit of stuff here, so it was just reason why I've not turned on my camera. No I, worries. I you, uh, but but I'm I am paying attention to like you know what you guys are talking and yeah, just what we much. discussed Grish last time, have a just in Go file, just uh, make it return. I guess wait. wait. Yeah, that's what. Oops, I think I changed. I'm gonna need to put this guy back. You guys see my screen, yeah? Hello? Yep, yep. Yeah, that's copy pass. So yeah, that's pretty much nice. Yeah, currently returning and from the basically UI, we're gonna set trick these four parameters. Okay. Uh, and the endpoint. <laughs> and once in the Docker, we're gonna set. They don't really need, I guess. Just in case I put inside outside the function, but yeah, if we can in a basic form can run. Right. So th this co is the objective that this code um, goes in, um, gets merged into the meshery binary. Mesh in the binary. So we will put as uh, we will be WRK version which we have right now in I, I i there was small tweet small fix i did also oh. uh, so pr pretty much we're gonna we're gonna build double we're gonna compile wrk uh, i think we're gonna compile it. yeah that's uh, in case we can also push the red version but we'll WK from our fork, okay. In the server side, in the meshery mm -hmm. container, and then once we build, we will call that uh, that WRK, and we will need also copy that Lua script inside the meshery container. And once both are there, we're gonna just call from the yep. uh, yeah. f in, as a f f function as a fortier basically that function we're gonna put there and then uh, as for these arguments we're gonna just pass from the UI we're gonna get this and uh, as endpoint a endpoint let's say it will be something slash WRK or something, and then in the form we're gonna pass these parameters. And once it's called, we're gonna fire that function, and which will return us that output. And then we're gonna push back, send it as a HTTP response. So awesome! Yep, that makes perfect sense. <clears throat> yeah, and so yeah, I guess the answer is yes. This is intended to merge into. Meshery, this code would go into the Meshery binary. The WR, the our fork of WRK2 will be its own binary, but it will be inside the same Meshery container. And then they'll make um, system level calls. To, you know, you invoke it as a as a as a second process. As a uh, and then um, then then actually one thing to help orient me is when we, if we go back and look at the we, we spent a lot of time you know outlining 
the objectives and then kind of breaking them down into um, issues. Mm -hmm. And so um, let's, bring those, let's bring those up and look at uh, yeah. where we yeah. are. Uh, I think you can share. I'm going to stop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So there, there's, I, I didn't, unfortunately, yeah. there's, there's a guy, his name's Rohit. I'm hoping mm -hmm. he can jump in and maybe help out on the UI. Mm -hmm. um, he seems pretty good. He started off with a bang. And I'm hoping that, and we haven't heard from him for a, a few days since, so I'm hoping mm -hmm. that he comes back. Okay. But, but he was really aggressive to start with. It was great. Okay. So cool. of the first thing that we've done, compile WRK2 with JSON compatibility. Oh my, you've done that, right? That's the, the new, uh, that's our fork, right? So, yeah, that's currently, I haven't, put in our Docker file, replaced like as a st stage, as a separate stage. We, I have the PR for it, but gonna need update to take from the fork. It was before from WRK initially building and gonna test that with a new fork. So with the new, you mean the new fork of WRK2, not yeah. WRK? Just updating the Docker build as is in, in the separate stage. If you see, there is a PR, yeah. That's, and yeah. so, uh, uh, okay. So, so this this is our fork. Your yeah, it's no th that one is fine. I pushed this. Okay. Okay. And. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm confused. We're we're gonna build from here and use yeah. this binary, right? Yeah. In when you go to measure it, it to yeah. If you go to PRs, pretty much this guy gonna actually yeah, it's showing a lot of well, but and anyway, it's gonna be just. I think that was. Yeah, well, why? So, this guy actually, I think I did get merge master. I don't know like, why it's showing 18 files, but anyway, well, it's. I can create another PR, that's fine. But if you go there, the files. Sorry, yeah, yeah sorry, did you guys hear that? I no. got yeah, you can pick up if you need. No, no, I don't need to, I just, actually, yeah, it's O'Reilly. Uh, okay, please call me back, urgent, exclamation mark, yeah. Mm. Why am I the only author that actually does any work on this book? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Great. So, so you you've got it here. You are everywhere, Lee. Huh? You are everywhere. Well, <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. Urgent, my balls. I'll, I'll give them urgent. So yeah, that's pretty much this in the Docker file. That's uh, land it here. Merge it. Yeah. The, the, these guys. No, that's. Uh, that's just, uh, I'm gonna do git merge master again. I don't know, like, yeah, that's, I haven't, just ignore all this. That's not my, change. it's all just behind the commit and the troll. Oh, I see, okay. O only the Docker file, the main first file. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's uh, just yeah. with my local changes, I think. Yeah, uh, okay, can you, so you are gonna, are you gonna do this today to just update that? To, and then we'll get it merged. So yeah, that's the do Docker file. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I will get some sleep and go to work, and then after. Oh, okay. For the for the evening, I can test that one. That's yeah. Okay, got it. Today I'm gonna work full time. Yeah. On Wednesdays. Yeah. Nice. One day. Yeah. Wait on on when on Mondays or Wednesdays. 
it's on Wednesdays. But yeah, that's uh, on Monday, Friday, I go to school and uh, for the evening, pretty much, yeah. And then Saturday, you have I, school as well, right? Yeah, I have the capstone project, which is on Saturdays oh. every year. That's still, yeah, that's, uh, but should be fine now. But uh, yeah, that's. Actually, we, we can test it now. So, does it look good to you also, Grish? That's uh, because it's kind of in JSON and it, there may be still edge cases can break it, I think. That's correct, yeah. Like, you know, we need, we need to, I mean, we have a few things to cover. We have to handle errors appropriately. Uh, excuse me. Um, and then we have to transform the JSON that we are getting back um, into a different format so that we can directly consume it in the UI. Otherwise, if you send a JSON, the UI will, I mean, we'll have to either obey the UI to handle it, uh, which I'm not a fan of, but I'll rather handle it in the back end. So we do have a little bit of work left um, before we can actually go that route. Oh, um, you mean? The JSON is not good. I thought JSON is no, no. JSON is good, but then like you know, what you're converting it to is a map. I mean, map is is good, but it's unpredictable. We should be uh, you know kind of marshaling it into a structure, and then from that structure, we should map it to the other structure, which I I think I've already mentioned it in the other document. Essentially, we have to take the data you're getting, populate another structure, and that structure is what the UI knows about, and you know so it'll it'll make our lives easier. So so that's that's the whole flow there. I see. Okay. And um, and to answer Lee's question, uh, yes, uh, and Lee was right. Like in a sense, like you know, we it'll all go into the Metri bundle. But whether we access it as a library or not is uh, is something debated. Like you know, if it is just like a single function, we can probably just move it into the Metri code repo. Uh, but if it's much more than that, then we can definitely think about consuming it as a library. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, like you know, once we have everything ready, then let's then catch up on on, on things. Okay. But uh, th this PR, I mean, a part of this PR is good. Like in the sense, your Docker file updates look good, which is which is great. But mm -hmm. the other files, uh, those changes are not needed. I mean, I know you were doing it for your testing. The meshery deployment, I mean, those should not be touched. I mean, that that should be like layer five slash. Yeah, yeah. I'm um, just gonna. Create another PR for that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no worries. I mean, like you know, yeah. uh, totally understandable. Um, and again, like you know, um, yeah. So, so I think you understand it. Like you know, so once you have all the pieces, let's merge them all in like a single PR. I think that's better because like you know, the whole feature will actually go inside Meshery in like one shot. Um, uh, Sako. Uh, yeah. One item as you uh, as you do go to close this PR. I, that's actually what I asked this morning. Was like, hey, should we close this one? Or like, or, but. Um, when you do the new one or those new commits, mm -hmm. you'll, you'll just want to, oh, make sure that your commits, yeah. Signed? Yeah. Let me, yeah, that's, uh, actually, hmm. Um. Go weird kitty, and that's. Uh, I think that that's uh, I can't. Okay, for the brand. Okay. Yeah, that's. Yeah, you forget to add minus s. Yeah, that's. Sure. Yeah, you know the the, the part of the trick there might be, um, just just changing the your like aliasing. Um, uh, like I include this in my git config mm -hmm. so that whether I'm amending or committing mm -hmm. it just has minus s in it yeah I think what was the last time you guys were showing details I may need to check that video but yeah I, I, I catched up that time uh, yeah minus s yeah nice okay yeah no cool no it's no and by the way no big deal like it mm -hmm. actually the way that github works when you 
um, edit on GitHub's web UI, it doesn't mm -hmm. sign the commits. They're verified because you did it from the UI. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a, some GitHub verified signature that it was me, but it's not the it's not recognized in the same fashion that the DCO recognizes it. And it's funny because this DCO comes from GitHub, mm -hmm. and so um, there's an open issue that is being tracked about getting that fixed. But anyway, what my point is is, yeah, it, it makes sense. It's it's easy to miss or forget her. Or if you configure in your IDE um, that you can just have your IDE auto sign it as well. Like Visual Studio, uh, there's um, a girl in the poor, she's mm -hmm. supposed to help update the documentation mm -hmm. um, so that this, like in VS Code, because you use VS Code, if you mm -hmm. go into VS Code and in, in, in the preferences and you mm -hmm. search for sign off, you'll see this checkbox. You can just check off, always sign my commits for me. Okay, in the VS Code, okay, let me see. What was it? Lastly, um, okay. When we go and look at the, mm. yeah, I got Find it. Oh, no, it's yeah. Okay. Mm. So. No, so it's just in if you're in VS Code, it's just in settings. You and you search yeah. for sign off. The quick question: What is the shortcut to go to the settings in Mac? Uh, it might be um, Command Comma. Yeah, it's oh, Command Comma. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm good now. Thank you. Let's um, wait. Yeah. What were you looking for the signing? Uh, sign off. Was it sign off? Yeah, it's a different because the, actually there's one for signing and it enables commit signing. Always with, sign off yeah, for all commits. Works. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's good. That's the one, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Good. oh. Okay. Cool, okay. so then, um, I, uh, back into the issues, you know how we, we created this series of issues to kind of track the, break down the work, understand it, and then be able to track it, is if I go back to that first issue. Oh my God, what's the date today? Uh, 17. Oh, 18. Yeah, uh, it's, <laughs> yeah that's uh, my one year at Open God. It's oh, my supervisor, yeah. To, Think that. Oh wow! Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, congrats, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's... That looks looks good on the resume too. To kind of uh, stuck it out. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's really that's really nice. Yeah. Nice year. Nice that. That tense year, but it was fun. Yeah. yeah. It's nice that he remembers that they pay attention. Yeah, that's. Oh my God! I'm gonna. Close my Slack now. There's just okay. Bombing. Yeah, that's one second. I'm gonna uh, until until. Okay, okay. I think we're good now. We shouldn't hear more <laughs> noise. <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, this is the first of the milestones we set for. 
compile WL KTBG as a Decker build step as part of the multi stage build. So, okay, bundle the compile with the mesh and the Docker container image. Okay, compile WL KTB is JSON compatible as Docker build step. Okay, that's fine. What we discussed bundle the compiler along with the main Docker container image. Build the compiler as a mesh. Docker container image, probably the same folder and then can be found when running in the con. Hmm. That that's uh, it's st still related to putting in a Docker file, no? That's um well it's like where where in part, but it's like where is the WRK2 binary located inside the containers file system? I think is the yeah, that's uh, the, how about we're gonna just put it in the user local bin, user, user bin, user local bin. Seems like the, yeah, since it's our container. Uh, yeah. yeah, inside our container, user local bin. <sighs> yeah. where, where do we have 4.0 now? And then we should be able to. No, we don't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Portal is part of uh, the library. Final. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, like, you know, it is a, it's, it's a very lightweight stripped down container. So I don't think it matters if, if the WRK binary is along with the, the main meshery binary or if it is in a different place. If it is along with the meshery binary, then it's just easier. Um, so, but, but it doesn't matter. I mean, because uh, people, I, I mean, I hope people are not going to be like you know, jumping in and meddling with it. Even mm -hmm. if they wanted to, I mean, like, you know, that's the, uh, the work directory is set properly, which means if they jump into the container, they will be in the same folder where they'll find the WRK executable. I think that's just easier. Okay. Then the, okay. Yes, I think pretty much, yeah. Yeah. That should be fine just uh, for make it easier not to make, go every time to that directory. I just put in user local bin and where I am because anyway, they now pretty much the compiled version with small tweaks only it fixed. So yeah, I just putting in pass already it's yeah makes sense but for container it's fine to be in that folder only cool and then i think by the time you get that done you'll this one is also you're you're pretty much you're almost done with this one as well so yeah we currently here uh script gonna fix i don't think that we need to every time the law script fix and the only parameters we are taking are four only. Uh, I think that should be good enough, yeah? Connections, thread duration, and uh, RQPS. It's pretty much what we have right now that you can change and do they need more? I mean, obviously you can. No, um, right now, no. And we can go back if, that, if it, if we, um, I don't know that we do. If it turns out that somebody's complaining and saying that we do, then we can come back and add it. We pretty much gonna build the UI for WRK. I don't know if there is already one, but yeah, that's. Well, our, when you look at the UI uh, as is right now, I guess I I didn't think that we were gonna have any additional fields other than maybe the. Um, uh, uh, is there a way to control um, uh, the omission, the uh, omission bit around? Mm. Like, do, like do we already, well, what new fields would we need to expose? What? Yeah. We don't. I mean, like, you know, even in the coordinator omission thing, I don't think there is. It's returning anything completely new. Can you turn off coordinated omission? Coordinated omission. I think no. That's the. It's in the code logic that what it adds. Like it's part of the law script. No, that's 
we are pushing multi-server plus code admission and and right. the changes in C code, it did like the our version right. pretty much. So, it's, so I, I would say, yeah, no changes in the UI. I just start small, get 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 the stuff um, loaded. Later, if we go to expose um, the ability to run multi, what is it? What are we calling it? Multi server or multi, then we can expose that later. And if they needed, if there was a flag for enabling or disabling coordinated emission, we can expose that later. We can come back to these things and enhance it. I'd say it's been, when you were asking about the date, I thought you were looking at the date on when we opened these, which was a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and we haven't you know, finished the first issue yet or made any visible project process here. I think, I mean, we obviously made process, but we're actually demo, I've been holding off on engaging with Google and IBM. Oh, I saw the email, yeah. Yeah, if we wait any longer though, it's not. So what I'm, what I'm pressing upon you is to, um, small wins, man, just like a small, like, Okay. Uh, uh, and so, yeah, what we'll demo today, we'll, we'll only be able to speak to what's coming to with respect to measure WRK2, but um, that's okay. We can do a different different demo with them on that. I see. Can we, for the UI part, can we, at this point of time, add some stuff and uh, uh, is there yeah. a... Yeah, I think that, uh, so um, this guy, Ramesh was gonna work on it, but he's like, he keeps saying he's gonna do stuff and he doesn't do anything. And um, I think Rohit will work on it. This was less than a week ago that we talked about it. We need to give him a screenshot. And it's actually, I think, very simple of what you would see in the UI. You'll mm -hmm. see changes in two places. To get going, you could just see a change in one place and one place only. And that would be, um, it, it, it could be one of two things. So one, when you're here on the test, there could be a drop down, a flag, a setting that just says, I want to use Core I.O., I want to use WRK2, and you select mm -hmm. one, and that's it. But the rest of the fields that you fill in are the same. Boom. And then um, that's like, for this test, I want to use Core I.O. Click. But it's, uh, if you have four stuff, you have duration, QPRS, concurrent, request, uh, don't we need, Hmm. Also, the concurrent request is connection, is the number of connection? Uh, yeah, yeah, basically, yep, yep. The connection. So, uh, in, I think in Ford, uh, Ford IO, if, if I remember correctly, uh, concurrent request is, is, is a combination, like in the sense it is a number of parallel connections and also the threads. Yeah. Um, yeah. Also thread? Or both same? Yeah. We're gonna set, okay. Then yeah, because I mean, there are two ways you can go about it, right? Like you can open multiple connections, uh, but then you can do it in a single threaded manner. But but I think like, you know, we should probably use the same number for the number of concurrent requests because the number of concurrent requests also means that they're going to be happening in separate connections. Okay, then we can have just one variable in this case. Right. And then passes for boss. Okay. So regarding the st struct, which what's gonna be the struct? Because right now we have uh, so many fields there. Yeah, that's why I'm not sure a bit. What should be the fields of that struct? That. So if we open the design doc. Hmm. I think you know, that this, these are the methods we said we would support for all load generators. Supported methods. Support. Oh. So, so this is good. So I, I actually, I need to go. Um, okay. But Taco, I would say I, I hesitate to even answer this question for you right now, because okay. you just need to get done the other work first, and then then when you actually get to this, then we should talk about it. Because because we did the right thing, we talked about it all up front, and did the architecture and stuff, and it's been so long that now we're kind of forgetting. And so rather than regurgitate it and then potentially forget again later, mm -hmm. uh, we can just knock out the knock out the first couple and then. Um, okay, that's uh, pu pushing in the duck. Contain inside the container, 
that's what we are talking about i guess uh, okay and then just keep for now right, how about this if you get m0 and okay. m1 done before we meet next wednesday um okay then i will have to make a bet as uh, because okay. what, what i'm trying to say is at the and this is no, this is no reflection of you. This is just so don't take. But it, um, if we consider the the pace by which we're moving it, um, we shouldn't. It, we're doing ourselves a disservice by spending any time talking about M two because I don't think you're going to get there yet necessarily. Um, yeah, it's just, just it's the it's they're going in s separate actually Lee, okay. because. Yeah, that's pretty much we are testing now in, as a POC for M2, what we have in separate repo. That's where we don't really mess with, with the measure. It's more like just changing there and making survey from JSON route getting into construct. And once all good, then it's going to be M2 for measure itself. It's more like we are talking about the POC part where just Without any container, nothing, just purely making sure that the end result is what we need. So, yeah. And zero and one, yeah, that's for measure the part. And, you know. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, well, don't, uh, don't celebrate too hard your anniversary. <laughs> yeah, that's, I'm going to get some sleep and then once, yeah. Okay. I guess that's, we should be. I would say, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I can tell you from experience, too much tequila is uh, not a good thing. <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, no, that's, uh, yeah. I'm not a drinker, guys, so that's, I'm sure we get. Okay, hey guys. Uh, oh, man. Oh, thanks. This is this is good, man. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, see you very shortly, maybe on the community call. Maybe yeah. Maybe we'll have a new uh, type of container by Friday. Like assuming that you know, assuming that that, that stuff lands. Yeah, I will cre create the PR for that, like uh, the late, from our fork to get the WRK, and yeah, that's should be good there, like. Yeah, that's uh, then advanced function regarding the struct. But the, I, I need the fields of the Grish the struct because r right now you put also the output. You can have a look. Does it looks good? Because I, as understood, we're gonna drop some parts of it no? or we're gonna have exactly the same with the fields the struct. Yeah, that's. Uh, let's talk about it on Slack. I think this guy is going to terminate. Okay. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Okay. Uh, enjoy your day, guys. Yeah. yeah. See you guys. Yeah. Okay. Good to see you, Saka. See you. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.